Hi, welcome to the wonderful world of syntax. What is syntax? Sounds a little bit scary. Let's look at a Google search, a query. You start with the web server. The web server sends this query to an index server, um, and that um, tells it looks at the particular words within the query. It goes to the doc servers, which retrieve the documents, or it could also be the images or what have you, and then returned to the Google user, that would be you. How does it take a sentence and look for that information and then within a matter of seconds or a fraction of a second you get a whole list of possible um, uh, possibilities possible possibilities nice <laughs> um, so think about that when you put in a Google search do you put in uh, let's see. Okay, so the other night my daughter was sick and I needed to find out just in case I needed to take her to um, an urgent care, a pediatric urgent care. So instead of typing in where is the closest pediatric urgent care, I just put in pediatric urgent care. I probably just put urgent and then the the phone told me that, oh yeah, the care. Yeah, that's what I want because it knows that care goes with the urgent, right? Um, hmm. So now Google's been working on actual, the way people actually speak instead of just saying pediatric urgent care, if you're using the voice uh, voice to text. Um, you actually can say a complete sentence. <clears throat> Think about Alexa. Can talk to Alexa even though she's been uh, not in good news these days. Okay, so think about that. Let's talk about word order. That's what syntax is. Have you ever seen, heard of this book? If you haven't read it, um, even if you don't have kids, it's, it's a cute book. Silly Sally went to town. So could I say Sally Silly went to town? To town went Silly Sally? Went to town Silly Sally? Town to Silly Sally went. Hmm. It's actually Silly Sally went to town walking backwards upside down. See, I know it by heart. <laughs> okay, so what is syntax? It's word order, right? This is Layla when she was like four or five. I love the the glasses. It's it's a cool look, isn't it? So when Layla was younger, maybe around three, um, she did what many other kids do, which is um, she said something similar to "Me want cookie." Is this correct syntactically? Is it correct? Well, it's incorrect grammar because the me in the subject position, because here we have subject, verb, object, right? The me actually needs to be changed to I in the subject position, but she hasn't gotten that far in her thinking yet. And actually, some languages don't have that difference of me and I. One is a, an object and one is a subject. Some languages don't have that. So um, if you say her want flowers, it's the same thing. Her, she. Okay. So grammatically it's not correct, but syntactically it is correct because of the word order. So let's look at it. Um, For syntax, the part of speech versus the role of a, um, of a word is important. 
So the argument, you have argument, and then you have complements. If you look at the part of speech, let's go back. Me want cookie. Me, that should be an object, right? So it's not subject. However, in syntax, you're looking at the role that that is playing, which is I. It's, it is playing the subject role. Mm. OK. So you have an argument, and then you have complements. So the argument's the subject, and then the complements is everything else. Yeah. Um, here we have non-subject arguments. Silly Sally devoured an apple. Sally wondered about Bob. So here you have Silly Sally. That's the argument. Subject. Sally. Silly is not necessarily needed. And then devoured an apple is compliment. Yeah? For a sentence to be well formed, all the expression it contains have to have all and only the arguments needed. So if you don't need to know that Sally is silly, unless Silly Sally is her actual name, given name, <laughs> that part of it is not needed unless that's part of what you're talking about. That's that is a major part of your conversation. So that's this sounds really confusing. Let's let's go back to the cookie. So we have an argument. What's the argument? Me. It's all about me, especially for toddlers. For a sentence to be well formed, whatever's here is needs to be important. So that's why kids generally don't pick up articles or endings for verbs or tenses until later because the main p part of that is me, want, right? Cookie. Maybe I want five cookies, but I'm just going to say cookie because you know what that means, right? Okay, because I imagine Cookie Monster wants more than one cookie. Um, okay, more on syntax, adjuncts. Adjuncts are optional. So silly, as I said, silly is optional, unless that's part of her actual name, right? Um, Sally went to France with her brother on Saturday. So think about what parts of this sentence are optional. And also, agreement is optional. Agreement as in her want flowers or flower instead of she wants flowers. Yeah. So we have arguments, which are obligatory, and then adjuncts are optional. So the arguments would be, we left. What did you leave? What? The house. When? Early. Yeah? Argument, he studies. Oh, what is he studying? Syntax. <laughs> when? Oh, before class. Yeah, those are optional. So let's go back to part of speech versus role. Um, so if you think about me want cookie, what's your argument? What are the compliments? I would say, so you need to have all and only the arguments needed. Sorry, you can't see the rest of that, but I had it on the slide before. Um, me want cookie doesn't really have any optional 
information in it, does it? I would say, if I said, I would like to have a chocolate-covered Oreo cookie. Mm, that sounds good. Then what part of that would be compliments? Think about that. So this is a famous saying. Noam Chomsky. It's hard to read this right here. Sorry. Car colorless green ideas sleep furiously. Something can be correct syntactically. So word order is correct. Colorless, adjective green, ideas. So the ideas sleep, right? Adjective, adjective, noun. And think about what role it's playing in the sentence as well, right? So these are, are doing, ideas is doing the action. The action is sleep. Sleeping how? Furiously. Doesn't really make sense, but somebody said it correctly. Till next time.